Hey everyone, today's look is going to be a get out the door quick makeup look, soft glam and let's get right into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is just going to be priming my face with this Hyaluronic Primer. I think I've got the thing too bright there. Uh, this is the Mecca Cosmetica Hyaluronic Acid. So just going to put a few drops of that on the face and this is going to act as our moisturizing primer for today and it really does help the makeup to stick and sheer out so you can skip this product if you're more on the oily side but during winter my skin is really kind of normal to combination and sometimes I just don't want a glimmering you know like primer under the face and this is just perfect so all I've got is last night's skincare on my face and that's pretty much it. Now, I'm not going to be putting on any SPF today because the, well, you'll see in a minute. <laughs> we'll get to that in a sec. So make sure that's sunk in really nicely and take that down the neck as well. Now today, I am going to be taking my mum to a knee specialist and she's been having some really bad knee issues well primarily the right knee has been oh it's the left knee the left knee has been causing her a lot of grief so hopefully today we'll find out if she can be scheduled in for some surgery she has a complex tear and i've got a hair on my face all right Next, we're going in with the, and I've been loving this so much, this is the Revlon Skin Serum Foundation. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm in the shade Tan Sand, 317 Tan Sand. So just give that a bit of a shake. And yeah, so she's um, been in agony for the past three months and hopefully today she can get some news about whether or not she can have surgery soon. I am going to be just rubbing that in with my fingers and what I love about this foundation is the fact it does have the SPF 15 in it but it's such a good skin tone like it's such a good skin match I should say for my medium cool olive skin tone I'm actually taking that up just a little bit under the eyes I may put on a little bit of concealer yeah i'll put a little bit on i'll put the matching skin match concealer by revlon on been loving that too so much take that down the neck make sure to blend in the crevices i have a dip right here on my chin and makeup sort of tends to pile up in there and around the nose it's always kind of normal but a little bit of powder helps to set that and it's fine so my face is feeling really nice hydrated moisturized and ready to just take on anything that we put onto it really so i'm just going to wash my hands real quick and i'll be back okie dokie time for just a little bit of concealer and this is the revlon what is it called again i see i seriously skin awaken 24 hour five in one concealer and it is just the most darling applicator tip it's like a little microphone and i think there's some product left over so i don't really need to squeeze any out so i'm just putting a little bit of that and just a little bit over the eyelids just to sort of eliminate a little bit of the darkness tapping that in with my fingers just to blend that in and it really is a non-creasing for me anyway, a non-creasing concealer, hydrating, disguising, a little bit goes a long way, so a little bit goes a long way, and it's just beautiful. Go over the lids with the remaining product. I'm going to be using this freebie product that I actually got from Mecca, and it's the Laura Mercier Caviar Eye Stick in the shade Amethyst, so I'm just running that on over the top part of the eyelid just right up to not even going up past the crease you can if you want to but i'm only just taking it to about 
there and then with my finger I'm just actually blending it out and just sort of blending it out to the tail end of the brow there for a really subtle soft wash of color now this amethyst is like a grayy purpley color now it won't make you look bruised um, trust me it won't it really will complement I would say 99.9% .9 of skin tones it's just beautiful because it is purple but it's got like a silvery gray sheen to it and it's just like a one and done really it really is just yeah one and done you can of course amp it up with putting another eyeshadow on top or even just something to make the eyes sort of pop in the middle there which I might do I'll see how I go I'm gonna run that same eyeshadow stick underneath the eyes and just lifting up my mirror because it's a bit hard putting shadow on looking down I'm really really happy with that now I want to just define the eyes a little bit I'm just going to use the Stella Stay All Day eyeliner in Stingray and I'm just going to do just going to sort of wipe the excess off that from the last application just putting that on the upper part of the eye just to make our lashes look a bit thicker when we go in and put a little bit of mascara on so just adds a little bit of dimension to the lashes there I will actually put line the lower waterline as well why not since we're here add a little bit of mystery and mystique and let's be honest eyeliner in the waterline really makes eyes pop no matter the color honestly no matter the color mascara time I'm going to actually pause the video while I do the mascara okay mascara's on only on the top lashes we're leaving the lower lashes bare now we are going in with skipping well I should say we're skipping bronzer and contour today I'm going in with two different shades of cream products these are the cloud paints by Glossier and I have two shades one is in beam and the other one is in dusk I believe is it no mm. yes dusk and beam so I'm going to be mixing these two shades on my oops, got a bit of a speck of mascara on the lower lash there can't have that yes so going in with these two shades I'm simply going to be mixing a little dot of each shade on the apples of my cheek and I love blending these two together because it gives you like a neutrally nerdy sort of browny pinky color it's gorgeous um, so I'm going to be going in and with my little eco tools brush I'm just going to be blending those two shades together and it really does just liven up the face so beautiful now I'm so excited because about time Glossier has now made its way to Australian shores um, and now I'm kind of not really that interested because I used to get mine shipped over from America and you know I created a uh, American shipping address so that they would ship over here and it's so expensive and I just think it's just way too late in the game and I've heard that the perfume by Glossier called You has changed I was so excited to purchase it I didn't end up purchasing it because I heard that the scent had changed and it wasn't as good as the original but I might have to just go into the store and try it and make that call for myself okay so that's that's all done last but not least we're going in with lip liner I'm using the AOA Beauty lip lining pencil I'm just going to overdraw the lips a bit well this is in the shade Yeho. I am going to be using a more of a glossier color 
today. I'm going to fill in the rest of the lips with that liner. Doesn't have to be perfect. The NARS Orgasm Lip Gloss. Now, what I like to do for a nice stained effect is get a tissue, fold it in half, smack the lips together and you're left with a beautiful, nice, matte, not too glossy stain. And so guys, that is the end of the quick get out the door makeup, soft glam look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Consider sharing it with somebody else. And for those of you who have recently subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. It really means the world to me. I hope you all have a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye for now.